So today, in this video, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about me, Westy, uh, rather than talking about one of my opinions or Battlefield for a change. There is some Battlefield in the background so that you can just stare at it whilst I ramble towards you, but I wanted to answer some really common questions that I get asked all of the time. I have done some Q&As in the past, but a lot of that information is like out of date now. It's about eight or nine months ago since I did the last one. So I thought I'd just bundle it all together in this one video today. And so first up, the most common thing that I'm asked is where I come from. Uh, I'm from the UK, in the south of the UK, just below London actually. Um, and a lot of people actually found that strange when I answered comments or tweets telling them that I'm from the UK. And they never really gave me a reason why they thought that was strange. They just said, oh, I didn't expect that. I'm like, why? I've got a perfectly good English accent. <laughs> Surely you would know where I come from. But I guess for some people, you, you just don't know. But yes, I come from the UK. And another question, how old I am? Get ready for this. <laughs> I'm 20 years of age, which is one year older than the last time I told you how old I was. That That's, that's science right there. <laughs> no, I am 20 years of age, and I hope that legitimizes what I do here on YouTube a little bit more. Because when I said I was 19 years of age, a lot of people didn't really... Well, I think they were quite surprised. I don't think that you were upset or anything like that, but... I think you were surprised that I was only 19, but yes, I'm now 20, so maybe you could take me <laughs> a little bit more seriously. Next question. Why don't you do YouTube as a job? Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of inside information here, and uh, not many people would choose to tell you this. I'm not going to tell you how much I earn off of YouTube, but I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight. So at the moment, I've just passed 100,000 subscribers, yay for me, woo! <laughs> and I earn about a million views a month. So that's a, a huge amount, I must say. That is a massive number. But when you translate that into payment, for example, it's still not a huge amount. So let me try and put this into context. If the money that I earn from YouTube right now, in terms of YouTube ad revenue, which is my main source of income, I'm roughly earning the same as what someone would earn in a month if they worked in a low level sort of national minimum wage job, in the UK at least. So you could probably work that out for yourself and then maybe think about how much work you have to put in to be able to get to the point that I've got with my channel. It is a little bit strange and the, the sort of the ratio between how many views you get and how much watch time you get on YouTube in opposed to how much you actually get paid is much lower than it's ever been before. I mean, three years ago, it was much higher because there were less people on YouTube watching videos. There are now more people on YouTube watching videos, which means the adverts sort of like get diluted because more people are watching them, which means the ad companies don't have to pay YouTube as much for people to watch them because there's automatically more people there to watch them. So yeah, that's why I don't do YouTube full time because I wouldn't be able to comfortably support myself with that amount of income. So I do have a nine to five, well, it's not nine to five, but five day a week job outside of YouTube as well. 75, no, 37.5 hours a week. So I kind of do what I can with YouTube. And if it ever did become something a little bit more, I'm not sure whether I would want to do it full time, maybe reduce hours at my actual job. So I've still got that steady source of secure income and then still have some fun with YouTube as well. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really thought about it massively, uh, but if the time ever came, then, well, I think I'd like to give it a go. Something else that people tend to ask me is, why don't I post different games other than Battlefield? And to that, I would say, well, I do. I just don't do it very often because, well, of the 103,000 of you that have clicked the subscribe button, the majority have subscribed to you because you've watched a Battlefield video of mine. I'm very much a Battlefield commentator, and I really enjoy doing that, but from time to time I would like to branch out a little bit and post something else. A bit like recently I've done some Dirty Bomb videos, in the past I've done some War Thunder and stuff like that. It's just nice to post something different from time to time. But if I was to change the whole direction of my channel, and let's just say I started posting My Little Pony Simulator, well, you wouldn't stick around and watch that if I just change completely. If I slide a few videos in there every now and again, then I think a lot of people will appreciate that and would like to watch something a little bit different. And moving forward, I'm going to carry on with that. I'm still going to be playing Battlefield. It is my main source. 
I'm going to be playing Battlefield 4 all the way up to the release of Battlefield 5, whatever it happens to be called. So, and, and of course, there is Hardline as well. But there are plenty of other games that I could be playing. I just choose not to post them because most people are subscribed for Battlefield. So I may as well post that. Next question. Westy, why do you promote G2A? Aren't they a little bit of a dodgy company? Well, actually, they've been perfectly fine to me and my followers so far. I think we've sold around 2,000 games through my referral link, and that's a substantial amount. That's a huge amount, but I can't remember anyone coming back to me saying they had any issues using my referral link through G2A. So, in that respect, everybody's good. But I do have something that I want to say about G2A and my sponsorship with them because I'm not going to be continuing it any longer. There's a very good reason why, and I think it's important that you know that reason. G2A are a third-party reseller, and that means that they buy a game from somebody and then they sell it on to consumers at a slightly higher price so they make profit on it. None of that profit goes back to the company that made the game, which is what would normally happen if you bought a game through Origin, for example. EA would sell you the game, the money they get gets invested back into their company, some of it goes to shareholders and some of it goes to other stuff, but it all gets invested back into the company so they can continue to make the games that you want to play. G2A, that doesn't happen. Now at the same time, I have a relationship with EA. I'm in their Ronku program, I'm in their Game Changers program, and I talk to them very, very regularly. They are a great company, but with the relationship that I have, I feel very humbled to be in that position. And because of what benefit I get out of it, there's no reason why I would ever want the relationship to come into disrepute. And unfortunately, EA don't like third-party resellers, and I can understand why 100%, because the money that they're selling, or G2A are selling those games and the money they get, doesn't go back to EA, so they can't invest it back into their company. And as I said, I wouldn't want my relationship with EA to, to, to sort of wither away or stop, because that relationship is good for everyone. EA gets free advertising out of me from posting exclusive content when I go off to the game studio and I record gameplay, you guys get to watch it, and you always enjoy it because those videos do really well on my channel. And I get a benefit out of it because I really like making videos. And playing the game early is like a massive, massive thing for me. It's, it's really cool to go and play a game before anyone else has and give feedback on it. So it's a win-win for everyone. With the G2A situation, you guys get cheap games. I get money from being sponsored by them because I promote them. But EA don't get anything at all because they don't get any of that profit. So you can understand why they don't support anyone who, who supports third-party resellers. And that's the reason why I'm no longer promoting G2A. Because I would like to prioritise my relationship with EA because it's more beneficial for everyone involved than my G2A contract. So as of two days ago, I was no longer supporting G2A. I've removed it from all of my social media accounts and here on YouTube. So from any videos as of today moving forwards, won't have any G2A branding. I hope you understand the reasons behind it. You can leave whatever comments you want to in the description. I can understand you're probably going to have some opinions about it. But that is the main reason why. And I hope it's okay with everybody involved. And a final question. Westy, when are those t-shirts being sold? I really wanted to buy one. Well, good news for you. It starts today. There's a link in the description where you can go and buy this t-shirt, Life's Better with Westy. I think this is a really, really cool design. I've ordered one myself, so if you want to get in on the act, all you've got to do is go over to the website, lay down the money that's needed to buy that t-shirt. As I said, I tried to make it as cheap as I could, but there is also shipping involved, so it's going to cost a little bit more. But if you do want to buy one, there's a link in the description. I think if we sell more than at least 10 then everybody gets one who's put down the money for it. If we don't sell enough, then you just get your money back and it's, it's no issue whatsoever. But yes, the link is in the description, so go and get one if you want to. But thanks very much for watching. That's the end of the video. Leave some comments today. It'd be really great if I could get some more questions for a future episode in a couple of months' time where I can answer some even more relevant questions from you guys because today I kind of just told you about me and, and what's going on with the channel right now. But leave a like if you enjoyed today's video, and I really do hope you enjoyed it. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.